Okay. So if I move on here to uh, question two, um, which just asks about the Lewis structure for um, xenon XEF2. Um, so a Lewis structure to start us off is just you represent uh, an atom, say in this case fluorine, and you put dots around it, so it's sometimes called a Lewis dot structure. You put dots around it for each one of its valence electrons. So here for fluorine, I've added seven. Um, the reason for that is fluorine sitting up here. So you can see that it's, if we follow the periodic table, right, it's valence will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so there should be seven electrons in fluorine's valence. Um, xenon is where things get tricky. Okay, so as we move down here into uh, this area of the periodic table, we now have xenon's valence is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it'll be five s two, uh, five p six. But of course, there is a uh, 4d10 in there, right? But uh, we, for the Lewis structures, we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> so the way that you would draw that is just with eight dots around it. Now, why I say that things get funny in this block is because as we get up higher and higher in our principal quantum number, which is the, these numbers here, the energy levels get closer and closer together. And that means that, now this isn't quite correct, but this is kind of the way that, that we can visualize it. That means that the valence for xenon could be this, but we could also represent it like this. And so that will take a, a, a small energy expenditure, but could be made up for in bonding, um, or could be this. Um, and I believe we could also go up uh, another two electrons. So that basically is the reason why for these high, uh, these high principal atoms, you can sometimes get, say, eight bonds around xenon. Now, the one that we'd be, consider that we'd be concerned about here is this one because here we've got a full valence for xenon F2 we need two bonding electrons which mean we just need to promote two electrons to give our two bonds and so the Lewis structure for that would be something like this where now we have, for our fluorine here, we can see we have one electron for bonding, and for xenon, we now have two electrons for bonding, so we can form our, our two bonds. And so, if I clean up a bit of space here, we have, oops, our fluorine with that and our xenon in the middle and we have a bit more and again our fluorine on the side. Now the exact structure 
um, you would follow, likely you would have Vesper rules that you'd be going through. And then to, to finish our Lewis structure, we basically connect our bonding electrons as a line, like that. And then we see here that that is the solution here that's given. So this solution is correct.